Welcome. Welcome, Libras. How are y'all? I hope everyone is doing great. I hope everyone is doing well. All right, so we're going to take a look into January 15th through the 31st, okay? So we're going to get into some things. We're going to see what energy is coming towards you, okay? Keep in mind, guys, that these are general reads. They aren't going to resonate with every single Libra, okay? If it happens to resonate with you, great. This was your, this was your read, okay? If it doesn't, check your moon and your rising, okay? So, let's do it. All right, so... Please give me a reading for January 15th through the 31st for Libras. Give me an overall message for Libras. All right, Libras. See, look what we got here. Heartache and loss. Okay, so you could be mourning or sad over a relationship. Okay, we got harmony. Look at these two people. These two people are in bliss with each other, okay? Then we also have foundation and achievements, okay? So maybe a relationship fell apart, okay? A relationship fell apart and maybe you're feeling down about it. You're feeling sorrowful about it, okay? Give me another message for Libras. Yeah, we got a spiritual union, okay? So you may have felt like this person is the one, you know, you might have felt like this person, you had a dope bond with this person, everything between you guys were, you know, you felt like this person was the one, but there definitely um, needs to be some type of decision, okay? This is about movement, choices, and decisions. So maybe you're indecisive about this situation, okay? You're looking back over it. You're in, in, you know, your mode of thinking of the memories of this situation. This could be a past situation, okay? So maybe some of you guys are looking back over your past and how you were hurt in a situation, okay? How somebody broke your heart in the past, okay? This could be someone that is around you as well doesn't necessarily have to be your energy, okay? It could be someone around you, or this could be, you know, the other party's energy. Please give me a message for Libras from January 15th through the 31st. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Well, these just fell out, okay? We got King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, but most definitely someone who's kind of, you know, headstrong and thinks logical. And I feel like there could be some spying going on. This could be you spying or there is someone spying on you, okay? We got King of Swords and the Page of Swords. Someone is spying or gathering some type of information, okay? Maybe someone's watching to see how someone is thinking or what their thoughts are, watching their Facebook to see, you know, trying to pick into their minds, like that type of energy, okay? Give me a message for, or maybe you just feel like you're being watched, okay? We got the Ten of Cups, okay? So this is emotional fulfillment, okay? So maybe you're happy, that you have, I feel like we got the death card, which is the card of Scorpio, but this is the ending page of cups, Pisces is energy, but it's also um, communication. Okay. So maybe you haven't been in communication with this person. Maybe you feel you're content with that. You're content without hearing from them. Let's see. What is the challenge? What is the challenge? And then we got this King of Swords popping back out. So this could be you carrying this King of Swords energy, okay? You could be being real stern, you know, acting like you don't care and pretending like you've moved on, 
Okay. Have you moved on, Libras? Have you? Huh? <laughs> All right. So maybe you do, a, you know, maybe you have decided that you're going to focus on yourself. We got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, okay? Maybe you're looking for something new. So maybe you guys have moved on, okay? All right, we got the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, all right? Maybe you just wait. You know, you got tired of waiting for them to grow up. And maybe you were waiting on them to contact you and they did not. And they did not contact you. Okay, what is the past energy? What is the past energy? Okay, page of wands. Okay, so this is communication. Oh, someone popped back up from the past. Okay, someone popped back up from the past. Okay, but you you was acting like you weren't interested. Maybe they popped up and did not call. Maybe they just popped up to your house. Maybe they just popped up to your job. Maybe they just, you know, just like, I'm here. And you're like, did I send for you? Did I? I don't think I sent for you. <laughs> What's crowning in this situation? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Okay. All right, so there's some changes that needs to be made, okay? Okay. All right, someone's waiting on somebody to make a decision, okay? Make some type of decision to change. Someone could have been, you know, juggling two people here because there's a decision possibly between two people. What is the future energy for Libras? What's coming ahead for Libras? We got the magician. All right. So you have all the tools that you need to get whatever it is that you need to get done. Why is the magician here? Oh, eight of wands. So you feel like maybe some of you guys feel like, you know, I'm not going to reach out to you. You're going to reach out to me. Okay. Why is the eight of wands here? This could also be like a trip. Oh. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> mm. So maybe someone tells you that they want another chance and that they've changed. Okay. You're telling them, show me that you've made the changes. Okay. Show me that you've made the changes, the necessary changes. Hmm. And don't be trying to keep me no secret either. I'm not no secret, boy. Ooh. <laughs> Four of swords. Somebody's tired of being in the dark. You're tired of being in the dark. You've been waiting. Okay, you've been waiting for this person. Maybe to, you know, come and communicate towards you about a decision that they want to make. Okay, someone has been, there's been some, like some secrecy thing going on here. And possibly you've decided that, you know, I don't, I don't got time for that. I'm going to move on. This situation is just too all over the place for me. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Why is the Will of Fortune here? Yep, hangman. Hey you waiting. You've been waiting. For this person to change, okay? You've been waiting to see some results. So, I feel like... Let's let's get some advice. Let's get some advice from the angels. Because I feel like you're good either way. But you're making it known that I'm not going to be nobody's options. Nobody's number two. If you can't put me first then, or make the necessary changes, then... Deuces. What advice is there for Libras, please? All right, so we have let yourself sparkle and shine, baby. So you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life self to the world, okay? So this is your time and your moment to shine, okay? So you're supposed to be shining. You're supposed to be showing them, uh -huh, I, I'm, I don't have to put up with this. I don't have to deal with this. I'm not sitting around waiting for you to make any changes. I'm not sitting around waiting, okay? Not going to do that. 
Okay, and a life changing epiphany or experience is, is on the horizon. It's a big time. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. So if this person does not want to get themselves together, then bye. How do they feel about Libras? How are they going to come in and just break your heart and step all over you and then just pop back up in your life? How are they going to do that? How do they feel about Libras? Passion. This person wants some romantic moments with you, okay? They are trying, they're coming in, trying to make some effort because they want to, you know. You see what this man is doing to her? He is romancing her, okay? How do they feel about Libras? They feel like you got some good loving. I'm going to tell them quit seducing my Libras. Trying to get back in good. All right. There we go again. Make the effort. Okay. All right. How do they feel about my Libras? I feel like they feel like they're trying to make an effort. Okay. They're trying to put forth an effort. And then we got finances and career. That came out first, but I didn't know. See, look. We got to give your relationship a chance. Okay, work on your partnership. So they do want to work on this partnership. They are putting forth the effort. They do want to put forth some type of effort. And I feel like something here about finances and career, they could be looking at you um, feeling like, you know, damn, you got it. He or she got their stuff together or they're getting their stuff together. I want to be a part of it. Financial issues are affecting your love life right now. So, I feel like they do want to give this a chance, but is it genuine? You know, you have to make sure that it's genuine, okay? You don't let them just come back around and be waddling all over you and weaning you and winding you back in. And, you know, it's not for the right reasons. All right, my loves. If you are new to the channel and you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information will be in the drop box below, okay? I'm currently running a $25 special for my new clients. New clients only. New clients only, okay? $25. And on top of that, you guys get a free question, okay? Yes or no question because it will be answered with the pendulum. So once you book, you will receive your reading within 24 to 48 hours, okay? And that's just dependent on the flow of things, okay? But normally within 48 hours, okay? And... um. Your second question is going to be a free question, okay? And it is going to be answered with the pendulum, so it has to be a yes or no question, all right? Mwah. Ciao for now, guys.